Yes. That's incredible. Um, going back to... Would you say um one more time? Oh, <laughs> and now I'm getting, now I'm getting the Abby <laughs> Lee Miller treatment. <laughs> I didn't say it the first three times, but I had to say it. Go ahead. So going back to the past few years for you, I mean, you still through everything have been in the public eye. That's good. Which is n- not new to you. You have been. I was always a star in my own life, you know, or yeah. my own world, my own mind, even when I was a little kid. So so what did it feel like, though, when you were going through more hard times, more difficult times? Well, A, it was horrible, mm-hmm. horrible. Uh, it was some of it, it wasn't funny, but now that I look back on it and my attorneys in Pittsburgh would say, does this suit look all right? You think this suit's okay for court today? Like there's going to be cameras. There's going to be, so they were a little tense because they don't live in that world. Mm -hmm. They're criminal defense attorneys. They're in Pittsburgh. You know, that's not, they were crazy when they wanted to make sure they were looking good for camera. Yes. Yes. And so instead of them telling the client what to wear to court, I was telling them what to wear to court. And, uh, you know, it was a strange thing. And I could talk for days about our prison reform system. Can Kim Kardashian call me, please? Please. (laughs) Can someone get a message to her? I have so much to tell her. It is absolutely insane. And I I don't want to bore your audience with all that, but, you know. What would you be, can say what, what would I be your pay in taxes when I'm working uh-huh. and I'm out in the world, and then when you go there, you make 27 cents an hour, and I didn't even get that. I just donated it back. So it's crazy. You know, I laid in the sun. I read 150 books. I lost 127 pounds that I gained back sitting in this chair, and you get to work on yourself. Mm-hmm. You do. I, I would never have lost that weight outside in the public because I'm running and working and unless you have a private chef and this, the food was so bad. It was disgusting. And, uh, you know, I exercised what I could with, I had a bad knee. So, you know, it it is what it is, but there's a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't fight in a war like my dad did. And I didn't go through what other people have gone through, but I hear somebody with keys or a door slam and, I just jump out of my skin because you just never know. And it wasn't the girls. The girls were wonderful. The women, I should say, that I met, uh, some of the most intelligent, kind people. You know, when I first got there, they didn't have shoes. and It was just this whole rigmarole. And somebody who had been in there for years and years and years took her brand new shoes that she had worked so hard for to, to earn the money to buy to order these shoes and waited for months for them to come in, took them right off her feet and gave them to me. And I thought to myself, you know, there is not one of those dance moms from that original cast that would give me a dime, let alone the shoes off their own feet. And here's a perfect stranger, you know, and uh, they, they were wonderful. Yeah. The guards, not so much. (laughs) <laughs> well, I know you've been very open about your experience yes. there. And now you want sh- names? I should do. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm sure people are also asking you a million times because we know some other um, big names. Yes. That will be headed um, in that direction. Yeah, the, it, it's different because a guard literally said to me, you're not going to talk. I, I didn't even say anything to her. I was just passing. What What did you say? You're not going to talk to me like you talk to those kids on TV. <laughs> they couldn't separate reality TV show from me being there. Mm -hmm. It was awful. But some of those women are on great shows that we loved and they're entertaining and they're real actresses. It wasn't reality. So they're going to ask them, you know, what's it like to live with John Stamos? What's it like to, you know, all those things. And they're going to have a million best friends. Felicity's going to be there just enough time to get all the material she needs for a fabulous movie. (laughs) Well, I was going to say, even you looking back at it, you seem to reflect on it fondly. No, I I don't. Of course, the doctor there took me off of my thyroid medication Mm -hmm. and my diabetes medication, cold turkey. Yeah. Look at the result. Look at what happened. Yeah. I mean, if... What is that quote? If it ain't work, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. I was out two months later 
And five days went by and I had a pain in my neck and was paralyzed from the neck down Mm -hmm. 10 days later. So something went wrong in my body. And the big misdiagnosis or whatever you want to call it is that I was in a thyroid storm Mm -hmm. because my blood work was so crazy, so erratic. And if they would have just done their jobs, let's say, they would have found out it was cancer and a very rare form, Burkitt lymphoma. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should connect you with Kim Kardashian. I think so. How do so. we make that happen? Uh, I'll forgive you all your ums if you <laughs> make that happen. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do what I can. Um, there we go. You obviously watch my video. Now like, comment, and subscribe.